This is big breaking news. We are now seeing another geomagnetic storm hitting Earth tonight. We are seeing possible G4, quote, strong conditions. And we are also getting warnings for potential even radio communication blackouts and disturbances of satellites as well, too. So let's get into all the details. You guys can see, I wanted to show you this. This was my current view last night from the Aurora. Okay, so I reported on how Tuesday night, November 11th, there was this, there were multiple CMEs that were hitting Earth in rapid succession. And that's why we saw this major geomagnetic storm in Aurora all the way down to places like Texas even, and Alabama. And I saw people reporting in Mexico, they were seeing Aurora. This was my view, it was extremely red. And I'm in the Southwest right now, right? Pretty far down South and super red, super red. And just one of these things, like a once in a lifetime experience, kind of amazing to see and my kids saw it, my wife saw it, everyone saw it, and it was fluctuating. You know, there were some points where it was extremely red and other points where it was not as red. So kind of crazy. This is a current picture coming out of Texas tonight. All right, people are seeing Aurora tonight again as well, too, all the way down in Texas. And this is due to these alerts that have been issued by NOAA from these geomagnetic incursions you can see here it says updated key messages it says the final cme arrived this afternoon and is passing over earth at this time we appear to have been struck by a far flanking edge of the cme most of the magnetic cloud likely missed us above or below earth's orbit and the magnetic orientation is variable what might occur tonight and overnight it says the magnetic strength of the CME passage is weakening with a brief period of favorable southward orientation that escalated with aurora activity this evening. However, the trend is a general weakening. We have yet to determine whether there might be more CME material and magnetic energy to follow and if it's mostly missing Earth. When will it end? This is the last Earth-directed CME. There's no additional events that we are aware of. It was quite fast and provided solar wind speeds of 950 kilometers per second. And it says these speeds alone were made elevated and are still over 800 kilometers per second. And normal solar wind speed is three to 400 kilometers per second. So they're expecting G3 to G4 levels. All right, so that's what's going on right now, all right? And you can see here, this is the mapping for the Aurora. So that was last night. Okay, they actually got Aurora activity over Europe. You can see Alaska, Europe lighting up. This was in the early mornings of this morning. And now you're seeing this is what's gonna happen tonight, all right? So the map is now showing it getting dark and we're going to see potential aurora you can see this is what's gonna what it's gonna look like tonight all right so similar to last night but not as powerful not as strong not as far reaching all right i think last night was like a you know record breaking maybe once in a lifetime events for some people all right having aurora this far down south this is very unprecedented and i think this is going to happen more often honestly because of earth's magnetic field that is weakening all right you can see here this is the geoelectric field map and you can really see the electricity surges moving throughout North America, all right, over the past 24 hours, 48 hours, this has been going on consistently, all right, the blue area is less electro activity, and the red areas are more heavily 
active areas. And once things get into the red where it's getting close to a thousand and purple especially, that is when the earth is so saturated with geoelectric activity that we could see surges along power lines and damages to power systems and power grids, satellite systems, things like that. So you see these red areas popping up, right? You can see Minnesota's kind of red. Lots of parts of Canada are red. And even parts of the Appalachian Mountains were lighting up orange. Okay, so ranges from 500 to 1,000 can cause major disturbances and even damage. And anything above a thousand can really cause serious problems with the power grid. All right. So we saw these surges last night. It seems like thankfully the power grid was resilient and NOAA was warning that they contacted grid operators to be prepared okay so they dramatically reduced load capacity and they were ready to turn off power systems and isolate cer certain systems if they needed to all right they were ready to do that and had the switches and systems in place in case of an emergency all right so they were ready noah was notifying and warning power companies last night and they are tonight too right you can even see here on the home page we almost reached g5 conditions over the past 24 hours we were very close so you can see here this chart over here it's not it doesn't really let me zoom in but this chart over here on the right that says estimated planetary k index and you can see we were very close to nine and once you get to nine that is a g5 solar storm which is the most powerful a quote extreme solar storm you could see we were very close the kp index was at 8.67 last night okay so very powerful storm i don't think we're going to get to those same levels tonight I'm not seeing any type of auroral activity where I am currently, but people are reporting that photo I showed is all the way down in Texas, people are saying, right? It is kind of, it's been kind of cloudy where I'm at, so maybe that's part of it. I can't see it, but last night was amazing. It was really cool. And. One of those things, you, you might not ever see something like that again. So be thankful. If you saw it, let me know down below. If you saw it, what colors did you see? And the colors are based off of different gases that are in the atmosphere that are ionizing. Okay, so it tends to be red and greens are more oxygen. Okay, that's oxygen gas in the atmosphere that is ionizing from essentially the electricity that is moving through the atmosphere okay these gases are getting excited they're ionizing and that's what make them makes them light up like this in the ionosphere and when you're seeing more purple colors and blue that's typically nitrogen gas that is ionizing in the atmosphere all right so i was seeing a ton of red it was pretty much all red i didn't see any other colors so from what i'm from what i saw i'm speculating it was mostly oxygen that was ionizing so pretty cool pretty wild let me know what colors and stuff you saw down below hope you guys are staying safe staying prepared staying stocked up staying ready all right you know, 99% of the time, 99.9% .9 of the time, these things, everything's going to be okay. But that 0.1% chance, there could be a big one. There could be a 
Carrington level events where grids are overwhelmed. And this will most likely be isolated to certain regions. Sorry, this will most likely be regional where there's the most amount of geoelectric surging through the earth. And it'll most likely be more northern latitudes, okay? So the further south you are, the less likely you are to experience any type of electrical disturbance or frequency disturbance, anything like that, a, a part of your power grid, okay? The main surges are going to be more northern states and northern latitudes, Okay, unless the storm is just absolutely insane and it's just, you know, there's no hiding from it. So just make sure you're prepared. Make sure you're stocked up. Make sure you're ready to go, all right? Because you don't want to be stuck in a situation where you're kind of in the aftermath of something like this and you don't have any power, you don't have any water. Maybe not any transportation, right? So just have some stockpiles, have some preps ready to go. That's very low probability. So don't be scared. Just be prepared. Hope you guys have big blessings for your life and your family. And I hope you have a big old blessed day.